Evans is uh, along with us as well from uh, the manager of Colliery St. Joseph's as well. Might get a quick word uh, with David, no doubt. Disappointed uh, ultimately in the end. Um, David, thanks very much for speaking with us. Uh, Jerry McGowan and Tommy Brettany have, have been singing your side's praises. Probably no consolation, unfortunately, in terms of the result, though. Um, I don't know. Like to be to be honest, you know, when we looked at this at the beginning of the year, and even you see the way the results that are going, we probably still have to. We always had to go out and be clear in the last game anyway. I suppose that's our sort of focus. Um, the game was there to be. We have a lot of guys who probably haven't played at that intensity in a good while. I, 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 you know, we had a lot of young fellas who have come in like Brian Calla, Conor Stinson and, and a few of those guys so no, overall I'd, I'd be I'd be quite happy um, probably we, we had two chances if the team was a little bit more mature uh, we had two chances to score in the second half when we were still a point up if we'd taken those you know all of a sudden the scoreboard changes and things like that um, so but, you know they're a good test Torres ran through everything they had they took everything they had off the bench to try and stop us we saw what they had they saw what we had like you know I, I, I want to be playing them once more this year. It's as simple as that, and that that is our plan. In in terms of your line, your team line out, the the homework Jerry McGowan says was done by Corby St Joseph's coming in that they, they were maybe a little bit caught by just how well your team was structured and how much pressure they were put under. Um, you, you've obviously put a lot of effort into that. Uh, I no, I I would I would say the, the exact opposite. I I think if, if people are saying that, they're not giving our guys credit. I think we have some fantastic footballers out there, and anybody who, who, who's watching football and can't identify the good footballers call we have, probably I, I, I'd question their knowledge of football. Did we give them structure? We, over the last number of years, when you see a German and Keith had them for two years, I thought they did a fantastic job with this group to take them on. We've just taken them on a little bit with a few more new players on. Um, am I shocked with that performance? No. Would I like to see it more often from a Colliery Out team? Yes. But uh, no, it's up to us to build on that. Uh, and, and we have some very, very good players there. And in fairness, I think they all showed their mettle today. You know, I, I, maybe a little bit of naivety or cuteness, maybe, j j just to, to, to kill off the game what was needed today. But we'll grow on that. You know, and, and you know, let's call a spade a spade. If, if Torres Strand lose one match this year, I'd like it to be in final and I'd like us to be playing against them. So we have to do our job. Nothing changes here. We have to play Calera in two weeks' time. We need to get a result. If we don't back that result up, then that's the failure. We have to back that result up with another good, with another good performance in two weeks' time. I think, to be fair, Jerry meant it as a compliment to yourself and your coaching team. But uh, I take your point, um, and Tommy, that's something you picked up on was was the the, the ability and the uh, um, confidence in, in the Corley players today. No, very much. We, I think we we talked about it in the sense that they looked very confident in what they were doing and and they had great belief in the, in the way they were playing. I just thought the work rate was absolutely tremendous. I just thought the support play by the by the Corley players uh, was absolutely brilliant. I did feel the Corley tired um, there in the last quarter. There's no doubt about it. I thought that Pat Hart had a big influence coming in to the middle of the park. Um, them breaking balls all of a sudden, rather than falling into Colry hands, were falling into Torres Strand hands. Uh, the breeze had a big, you know, I do believe had a big factor. I mean, it negated, uh, um, I suppose, Colry's chances of getting that long ball into Conor Griffin because all of a sudden, uh, you know, the breeze did pick up quite considerably here in the second half. Certainly, I believe Jerry and, and, and the point you made was just, it was very much a compliment to, to, to the Colry structure that very much had their homework done, that, you know, that they, they outwitted them somewhat maybe on, on the kick-out strategy um, that Colry approached, you know, pushing up on the tourist and players not allowing them you know short kickouts early on and uh, but look at from from a Calgary point of view Dave was saying that um, you know they have to pick up on that result against Calgary I'm sure he means the performance not the result <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought I said that myself <laughs> um, in, in the sense but you know look at it it's great it's real championship football now at this stage but certainly Calgary is going to take great pride and credit you know and comfort out of the performance that they showed their abilities there today and uh, certainly num not a, a number of weeks now to, to work on their fitness and to get that up to a level that they can keep going for the do it for the 60 minutes. Yeah, every team, David, is, is going to struggle with injuries. We know that in a short spell, the, the no real pre season. To lose two goalkeepers is, is a bit jarring, though. And to lose three would be very stupid, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, to, to, to be honest, uh, we're, we're sort of um, lucky in a roundabout way, is, is we'd have three or four guys more back, I'd expect, to back for the next match. Do you know what I mean? So we, we, or we've lost Brian, but to be honest, there 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 is. Um, there, there was a plan in place for, for, for that for that if that happened anyway. So um, that'd be one thing. But like, if the hurling manager had let Ronan play with us more often, he's another guy to come back into. Yeah.